First, on all of your 1970 quarters, you want to look for doubling on the front of the coin. This is a 1970D Dibber Minted Washington Quarter that has doubling on the front. So a double die obverse, DDO for short. Now it's doubling on the date. Also look for it in the lettering in Galway Trust as well as the word Liberty. Here is that 1970D that has that doubling. Now it is graded at a Mint State 65. If you're not familiar with coin grading, just go type in coin grading couch collectibles on YouTube and you will find my videos on that. Now this quarter here sold for over 2000 $2,800. That is amazing. $2,800. Moving on to a 1970 D, you want to look for doubling on the back of the quarter. You see doubling really there on the U and on the leafs above that. So want to look for doubling on the reverse of this quarter, on the lettering, as well as on the leafs. And then here is that quarter that has that doubling. And this 1970D Washington Quarter sold for over $260. Also, for the 1971 Washington Quarter, you want to look for doubling on the reverse as well. You can see that doubling on the lettering United States. You really see it there on the first S there. You can really, really see it on the left side of the screen. Now, here is an example of a 1971 double die reverse. And this one does have a high grade of a Mint State 65, graded by PCGS, with that double die reverse. And this quarter here sold for over $8,800. Ooh, one of my favorite quarters ever. If you guys ever find these, you definitely always want to search for errors. They are the Bicentennial quarters. You see them from 1776 to 1976. That is the Bicentennial Quarter. Now they actually produced these in 1975 and 1976, but you only see the 1976 on the quarter. But you want to look for doubling on the obverse of the coin, so the front of the coin. You see the doubling there on Liberty, the LI, the TY there, so a very good example. If you want to see your coins up close like that, get a USB coin microscope, link in the comments below. Here's a 1976 quarter graded by PCGS at a Mint State 62. It has that doubling on the front of the coin, the double die obverse. And this Bicentennial quarter sold for over $800. $800 for that Bicentennial Quarter. Now I also want to show you guys something for the Bicentennial Quarter. Here is a regular 1976. Now it's graded at a very high grade, Mint State 68, so it's in very good condition. It's the 1976D. Now that's why it's valuable. It's graded very, very high. This quarter sold for over $6,400. Now this one is not silver, however, if we look at this other one, I want to tell you guys that there are silver versions of these coins out there. So the 1976, there are silver. I have a whole video on the 1976 quarter explaining how you can tell the difference between silver and non-silver. Now this quarter here is the silver version, it's graded almost at a perfect grade, a Mint State 69. It is the 1976 S Mint Mark. So of course, if it's the S Mint Mark version of this quarter, it's gonna be silver. Now this coin sold for over $5,800. Don't forget to subscribe in the middle, check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I'll see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.